people are asking me if I can generate business cards here in Adobe Firefly and today we can check out how to do that. So I found a really cool reference mockup here on onblast.com and I'm going to try to recreate some of these. If you want to download this, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So I'm going to start in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go to stroke, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top and I'm going to select a gray color for it. Select the rectangle, press and hold shift plus alt to create a perfect square. And let's go to the 3D materials and click on extrude. Now I'm going to scroll down real quick and let's go to the presets and select isometric top. Now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to increase the depth nice and high, something like this. Let's go to the bevel, activate the bevel. I'm going to change the bevel shape to around, decrease the width. And I'm going to place it somewhere here. Now I'm going to go select the rectangle again. And I'm going to create a shape of the business card, something like this. Let me recolor this real quick. I'm going to make this strong blue. And I'm going to do the same process. Go to 3D material, click on extrude, scroll down. And let's change it to isometric top. Now I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate 90 degree angle. So it should look something like this. And I'm going to decrease the depth. I think I'm going to add like two. And basically it should look something like this. Now we're going to go to Adobe Firefly. Aspect ratio is going to be widescreen content type photo. Let's go to the reference image, upload image and select the image that we created in Illustrator. Click on open, continue, increase the strength to 100%, scroll down, select hyper realistic, scroll down more, go to lighting and change it to studio light. Now let's go to the prompt and type in blue business card placed on a concrete block isolated on gray background. Let's go and click on try prompt. And this is the first result. The concrete block looks really good, but overall the color of the business card looks kind of gray. And I also want to make the concrete block lighter. So I'm going to go with uh, a vibrant blue and I'm going to go with placed on a white concrete block. I also going to scroll down here and I know that color and tone, there's this uh, vibrant colors. So I'm going to add that too. click on generate. And now I think we got better results. Now the shadow here does not look that good. I couldn't figure it out how to position it in the correct way, but you know, it kind of works this way as well. I'm going to generate some more. After a couple of attempts, I think I like this one. Let's go to Photoshop and here you can go to adjustments, go to hue saturation and increase the saturation. Now it won't look a lot more bluer, but if you go to hue, and change the hue, you're gonna make the blue stronger. You also can go to the adjustments, select the curves and add some contrast. Now you're gonna go select a rectangle, create a rectangle of a business card shape and let's select the type tool, type in something, scale it and position it. Press and hold shift and select the text and the rectangle, right click, convert a smart object, press control T, press and hold control, select one of the edges and place on the edge of the business card one by one, like so. Let's go and double click on the thumbnail of the business card layer. It's going to open up in a new tab. I'm going to uncheck the black background and let's go to the file, click on save. And now we can go back to the original tab here. And as you can see, it's saved in perspective on the business card. You also can double click on the business card layer, go to the underlying layer, bring it, press and hold alt, click on the handle. This way it's going to break it in two. And if you bring it up, it's going to add some shading. Click OK. And that's how you generate a business card here in Adobe Firefly, Illustrator and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.